Well, if anyone thought Steve Cohen was going to get off Twitter, obviously he has proven now that that's not true. Uh, look, Gary, uh, would I have responded in that way? No. I think contract negotiations with players, uh, you know, are intended to be, for the most part, private. They involve a lot more than dollars and cents. There's a lot that goes into these things. And even if there was a promise given, it's probably better off for future interests, for future business dealings, to address that privately as opposed to really lashing out in a public forum. Now, that being said, from an entertainment value, this, this stuff is great. I, I mean, we're really kind of getting to see behind the curtain here more than we otherwise would have. I, I think, you know, you want an owner who cares. And Steve Cohen has proven time and again that he is very high on that list. He cares a lot. He cares about every little thing that goes on with that club. So that's a good thing. And I also find it somewhat laughable, this idea that, well, free agents aren't going to want to sign here in New York because the owner tweets a lot. Uh, it's on the list of priorities. If I'm a free agent baseball player wanting to sign with a team, that would probably be about 32nd on my list behind A, number one would be money. So I don't think it's that big of a deal in the grand scheme of things. And like I said, would I have done it that way? No. But I'm kind of glad that Steve Cohen did because it is entertaining for all of us. All right, let's follow up on that. So, Todd, follow up on what, what Anthony said right there. If you were on the Mets, which you once were, or somebody with interest in the Mets, would the owner's Twitter presence be an issue for you? No, um, not really at all, Gary. I think um, to Anthony's last point, the reality is um, he got beat in a negotiation. I'm sure he's a guy that's been very active in negotiations in his other businesses. Um, I'm sure he doesn't like to lose. He felt like he wasn't treated correctly, but nobody in my mind is going to have, um, you know, whether or not he tweets has a real impact in their decision to come here, especially considering the guy's got a big wallet. He wants to win. He's obviously um, passionate about his Mets team. So um, I think that would be the least of my worries if I was considering signing as a free agent in New York, especially for the Mets. And Steve Cohen, not a problem.